Hello guys, in this video I will show two ways to make a teleport, dynamic teleport. The teleport will tied to the uh, player, when the player uh, press a key, it will get teleported in some certain area. So firstly, I use a traditional but not a recommended way. This is a player, so just uh, draw a trigger, draw a brush, I mean. Turn it into a trigger underscore once. Nameless. So, there is a function on trigger, we need a user interface. So we haven't created an interface yet, but we just uh, put the command first. Let's see, teleport user interface, like this, this name. Activate. Okay, it's done. Then we make the user interface, it's called game underscore UI. Name is uh, just, uh, we call it uh, this name, T-L-E-U-I, so you can name it any way you like. And uh, we need to make another brush. I think uh, put it here is better. Anyway, put it anywhere. Don't matter. And uh, we make this brush turn it into a teleport. And uh, we make it uh, the name just uh, T L E. No parent. Start disable the no. Filter name, we better make a filter so other player touch this, it won't get uh, teleported. So this is exclusive for the player. So we just uh, make a filter. Filter by name. Put it here. Or anywhere. Then name, just uh, give it uh, any name. Filter, like uh, let's say this. And uh, the filter name is the name we want to allow to use it. So we will uh, name this player as uh, li li like this. And uh, so now we can use a filter. Remote destination, we just uh, put it like this. Uh, so we will create a, a destination. We haven't created it yet, but we just named it one. We want to name it like this, so we create this one. So better use point underscore Tesla. So what we want to teleport, I just uh, cut and paste. So what about... Mm, on this roof. Name is uh, certainly this name we want. So why there is two of them? It's very strange. Okay, forgot about this. So we will teleport here. And uh, certainly we need to make a template. Template and maker is a pair. Sometimes, if the position of the object doesn't matter, you even no need to use the maker to save an entity slot. But this term, it need the name is just uh, simply put uh, anything like temp. Behind 
and uh, make a maker. And uh, this maker's uh, position is very important. If you want to make the maker, it means the instance get spawned has something to do with the position. So parent currently we don't set its parent. We will set it later. Name is just uh, like this. Okay. Everything's fine. So now. We will just uh, do some work in the user interface. The flags on check all of these. But I prefer. Okay, no problem. Then, firstly, when the player on, we need to give the player a name. the add output target name so we name it as this name we want then after slightly delay make this scene set its parent so it will be tied to the tele player like this so this guy will tied with this player. Then we just use a button to teleport, like a left mouse button. It's called a press tag. And this guy will force spawn. Copy paste and uh, need to clean it up later. So this is a teleport brush it uh, spawned so cure it after some delay like this okay so we are good to go let's go earn our pay okay I will press the uh, left button now okay it happened I drop off I press again Okay, it happened again. Okay, so it works perfectly. Like you make this scene just uh, also parented uh, to the player. Where's the player? Just uh, add another function here, copy paste to make this okay. So let's see what uh, we can do with this. I'm trying to if I can jump onto this. Okay, I made it. Do it again. So it is similar to something in my previous uh, map. So I will show you something similar, but uh, it's not uh, used on the player. It's uh, used on the uh, kind of like a tank. Together we can do it. So I think uh, it's this one. So the other skill is teleport, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's teleport. Uh, 
uh, this is the uh, first uh, way, the traditional way. But uh, let's just uh, count uh, how many entities it will create. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there is uh, an even better way. Just uh, only need uh, four or five entities to make the thing done perfectly. So just uh, remove all of this first and uh, do it from scratch again. So first thing is still the trigger. And uh, then it is uh, measure movement. So I use uh, this way in my some recent uh, maps, like the hide and seek map. Uh, two Tesla. So why two? Because there is a bug of this measurement. The bug cannot be solved, but it uh, can be worked around. So make it uh, default teleport uh, point. So put it here. Make it uh, a bit thinner so we can see it. So, and, uh, another one is, uh, let's see, two. So, this second one is actually the thing we want to teleport to. But the first one is to walk around with a bug. So, this is the point I want to teleport. So now we will do the function. Disable first, we play on. Then it's called a set target reference to the to some delay like. Uh, Then add a function, press the tag, left mouse button, enable, and disable. The delay needs to be at least uh, like this. If you make it uh, smaller, it uh, will have bug, it will not uh, teleport there. 
okay so just uh, five entities one two three four five it will work the same as the tra traditional way and uh, it uh, can even have much more stability because there is no actual teleport brush created it's everything is controlled by this measurement okay so there is a I forgot one thing okay I forgot one thing it doesn't work because forgot <coughs> change the player name called uh, okay no it worked let's go let's go let's go so it worked And uh, one thing to mention is, with this method, you cannot uh, uh, set parent to the player. Otherwise, it doesn't work because once it uh, gets parented to the player, when the player wants to uh, teleport into this entity, but this entity will also move and uh, maintain the same offset of the player, so it will just get uh, messy so the location will never be right and uh, you can actually make a uh, multiple these in different locations different names and uh, to set them differently to have the potential to t uh, teleport to different locations by the function of, of this so it's called a set target reference so actually you no need to even disable this measurement first you just set target uh, reference to a new point it will just uh, teleport you to the new point but if you disabled it and you set a new reference you need to enable it to uh, see the effect.